Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage chair of the House Republican Conference, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. for the mainstream media, and I can say this as a born and raised New Yorker, New York is Trump country. Wow, it is incredible to be here in the iconic Madison Square Garden. President Trump has been talking about this rally for years, and what a way to kick off the final week of the most epic campaign to save America. Every election, we say, is the most important in our lifetime, but this one really is. No matter where you go, whether it's in New York City, upstate New York, or in any of the swing states, People understand there is so much at stake. And it is we the people, when we vote for President Donald J. Trump, we the people will save America. Just look at the crises that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden have brought to our nation and have brought right here to New York the border crisis, illegals swarming our streets, taking billions of our hard-earned taxpayer dollars, all because Kamala Harris is Joe Biden's open border czar. She owns this border crisis. She created it. Or the inflation crisis, the highest rate of inflation in our lifetime. And you know who was the deciding vote for Joe Biden's Inflation Expansion Act? Kamala Harris. And the crime crisis. Democrats are the party of defund the police, and Kamala Harris has turned her back on our men and women in blue. New Yorkers support our police. We will always back the blue. And then take a look around the world, what is happening. You had the catastrophic withdrawal from Afghanistan. Kamala Harris was the last person in the room advising Joe Biden of that horrific mistake. You had Putin invading Ukraine, and then just over one year ago, we had our most precious ally, Israel, under attack from Iranian-backed Hamas terrorists. And Kamala Harris has turned her back on Israel. And what did we see? What did we see on our college campuses? We saw a skyrocketing of anti-Semitism. Let me ask you all, did you see that committee hearing with those college presidents, now former college presidents? That's right. I asked the presidents of Penn, MIT, and Harvard does calling for the genocide of Jews violate your university's code of conduct? And one after the other said, it depends on the context and the world heard. You're fired. Five have been fired, so many to go. And you know, compare that with President Trump. He brought us the most secure border in our nation's history. He brought us the strongest economy. He proudly supports our law enforcement, and he has and always will stand with Israel. He, Donald J. Trump, has fought for us, the American people, 
whether it was fighting against the sham impeachment, which I was a proud member of President Trump's impeachment defense team, whether it was standing up for election integrity, or whether it was facing the witch hunts by New York's own Tish James, Alvin Bragg, and corrupt judges. You know, after we fire Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, we're going to fire Kathy Hochul, Alvin Bragg, Tish James. You're fired. As I said, President Trump has fought for us. It is now our opportunity to fight for him. And New York, we made history when we fired Nancy Pelosi once and for all and flipped those five congressional seats. We need to make history again. So nine days, flood the polls, vote for President Donald J. Trump to save New York and save America. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much.